There's new allegations of hacking aimed at the Trump campaign on the road to the White House tonight. The claims allege the major breach could pose the latest disruption on what has already been a wild campaign season. Skyla Henry shares what this means as we inch closer to Election Day. Former President Donald Trump's campaign says Iran is behind a hack that gained access to what appeared to be its research on Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance. The material was sent to Politico and the Washington Post in late July from an anonymous email account. CBS News cybersecurity analyst Chris Krebs told Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan that more cyber attacks are likely. We have a long way to go in this election. Uh, Iran specifically seems to have advanced their efforts, moved them to the left perhaps a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Russia enter the fray soon. Trump is also saying Vice President Harris used artificial intelligence to fake pictures showing large crowds at her rallies last week. But CBS News was one of the several news organizations on the campaign swing and verified crowd size estimates were accurate. November 5th, 2024, justice will be done. Trump also returned to X for the first time in nearly a year, posting a video Monday ahead of his conversation with Elon Musk on the platform formerly known as Twitter. After a busy week of rallies with her VP pick, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, Vice President Harris's campaign says she's working on her economic policies, which will be unveiled this week. Governor Walz is expected to hold his first solo campaign event in Los Angeles Tuesday. Walz went after Trump during a stop in Las Vegas Saturday. He'll gut Social Security, pull your health care, underfund public schools, all of it. That's damn right. Damn right, we're not going back. Walls will be speaking in L.A. with union workers, a key constituency for the Democratic ticket. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.